This is night vision on version 2, V2, the old wise cam. I am looking at the cell phone. I'm, I'm going to try to put this on the video directly from the SD card later, but I don't know if that's going to work. So I'm looking at the cell phone right now. This is the V2 looking at a backyard, pitch black, 1120 at night. We're looking at an orange tree, a grapefruit tree, a wagon with some dirt in a bag. There is a wood fence over there. You can see a lot of bugs flying around. There are some power cords on a lawn. There is a yellow, you just saw the bug fly over there on the left side. There's a yellow garage over there. So this is V2. Fairly impressive. Definitely very impressive. Um, no doubt about that. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch over to V3 and we're going to look at the same thing. I don't really notice that much of a difference but then there is that much of a difference. So let me switch over to the V3 version, the V3 camera. There we go. Now, I don't know, it kind of looks like a little purplish. You can see the little green boxes uh, for detection where the bugs are flying through the, through the yard. Um, maybe a little bit brighter, and this is kind of... Both cameras are within about a foot of each other, so I don't know how much one camera is picking up the IR light of the other camera. I guess I could shut one IR light off on the camera and, and check it out and really figure that out, but I don't really care right now. So we're looking at the V3. We're looking at the two trees again. A little bit different angle. We've got the wood fence. You can see the wood fence over there, to me, it looks a little bit better than, I don't even know, let me look, well, let's go and look at the uh, V2 in a minute. But on the right side of the tree, you can definitely see the wood fence, the wood pieces. And you can see the wagon, it looks a little better. There's the uh, a hose holder, and the garage looks a little brighter. And the trees in the background over the fence look brighter. And the wood, or the concrete wall, I don't know if that's bird stuff dripping down, two little screams on that um, fence. Uh, we're going to look at that in a minute. We're going to check it. The lawn looks much brighter. And again, it could be because the camera's better, or it could be because we are combining the light of the IR light of two cameras. So let's go check V2 really quick. So I take that back. You can see the fence on the right. You can see the wood pieces on the right with the V2, and you can kind of see the white stuff. I don't know if it's paint or bird poopy on the uh, concrete wall on the middle left in the back. So, um, not as clear as the, the V3, and the wagon looks pretty bright. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn off the IR light on the V2, and then we're going to go back to the V3 and study that for a minute, because that's the whole point of the video. Um, remember in the V3 we could see the tree a little bit better in the background, I believe. And not so much on this one, on the V2. We are back on the V2, but this time I turned off the IR lights on the V2. So what this tells me is I believe all of this lighting is coming from the V3. Because there are no IR lights on the V2 at all. And I don't think the V2 can see in the dark this well. So, let's go over to the V3 right now. And you have to remember, this is a camera. This is the camcorder looking at a cell phone, so it's not going to be as good as if you were looking directly at uh, the video from the SD card. Let's, let's go over here and let's um, zoom in. Let's zoom in and drop down now. Look at this. This is the V3. And there's the tree over there. You can see the garage. You can see that uh, stuff, the lines I was talking about on the concrete. And you can see the plant and the tree, uh, the orange, the fence. Now I'm going to show you the part that just is unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. I'm going to turn off night vision, or whatever they call it, and I'm going to put on the... Um, the di I don't know what the name they're using, where... It makes night vision look like daytime, and it's just unbelievable. So here we go. <laughs> look at this thing. I just, I'm shocked. I'm absolutely shocked that they're able to do this. 
look, you can see the time over there. Uh, the time hasn't changed. Well, it has a little bit, a few seconds. This is the night time. How in the world are they doing this? That's the color of the fence in the back. The, those are yellow cords on the ground. They don't look yellow, but good enough. That's a red wagon. That's the hose thing. And you can even go over here and almost read the name off of the bag of dirt. Unbelievable app for a $20 camera. Look at the sky. That was dark a few seconds ago, and now we've got the blue sky, and we've got the green, um, the green orange tree and grapefruit tree, and you can see the HD bucket over there. This is absolutely incredible that they're able to pull this off. So I have one more thing. So I will say, I know I complained before, I had a, the, this camera almost needs a really good, a very good, compared to the V2. The V2, I'm able to pick it up uh, with an okay Wi-Fi signal. The V3 needed a much better signal. Um, but once I got this thing working, look at this. This is nighttime. This is pitch black out there right now. And just incredible. So what I'm going to do on the V3 now is I'm going to turn off the IR light on that, and we're going to look at what we see with the IR lights off completely, and then I'm going to go to the V2 and turn on the IR light only on the V2, and we'll see what that's capable of. This is the V3 with all the lights off. Now, I will say, you can see the, the over to the bottom left where we have the hose thing, there's a lamp in that yard that shines the lamp kind of shines way, way down on this walkway. There's a walkway over here, and the light shines this way. But this whole area is dark. This camera is picking this up in total darkness, which I'm just amazed. There is there, The IR lights, I believe I shut off the IR lights on this thing, and, and so there's no IR light on either camera. Now I'm going to go over to the V2, and we'll see what it looks like. We're looking at a black screen. V3 is completely turned off from the remote on this thing, and V2 has no IR lights on. So I'm going to turn on the V2 IR lights now. V3 completely turned off. This is V2 with the IR lights on. We can see the fence to the right, not as good as we could before. So when I had both cameras on, the V2 was picking up the light from the, the IR light from the V3. Um, you cannot see the color of the power cord. You can't barely remember those little marks, the white marks on the fence over there. You barely see them with the V2. So the quality of the V2, it kind of comes in and then it disappears. Uh, the tree above there, it's kind of there, but not that great. You can see the wagon. Can we see, uh, can we see the name? So the V2 is not bad, but it's definitely no comparison to the V3. And what I'm going to do one last time, I'm going to turn off the V2 IR lights I'll just turn off the camera, and we're going to go to the V3 and see what we get. So when I turned off the camera, and then I went and turned it back on, it said, Network not stable. Please try again. Go to 360p setting instead of the HD. But I, I went back and then went forward again, and here we are. This is pitch black, totally dark in the backyard, and it looks like daytime. Absolutely incredible. The V2 is totally shut off. So what I'm going to do for the final thing is I'm going to turn off the, whatever they call this, twilight mode, or I don't know. I'm going to go strictly to V3 with night vision on, and you can see all the pixelation, but that's okay. I'm, I'm literally going from a camcorder looking at a cell phone with a picture that should be pitch black that is color. So let's go try this with uh, night vision on and this color off. night vision on, strictly using the IR lights from V3, and I don't know why we get that. You can see in the background, the it looks kind of like light is reflecting off of something on the garage in the back. 
but you can see the cords over there you can see the fence really nice and you can see the tree in the background the trees in the foreground the planters absolutely incredible and let's go click on over here and you can definitely see or you can almost see the name of the company on the bag and finally I'm not sure that I'm gonna pull out the SD cards and mess with this because most of us aren't going to be pulling out SD cards we're just going to look at our cell phone this is the V3 again with the IR lights on from the V3 and the, the IR lights on from the V2 which is right next to it so what this tells me is that the V3 has a much better uh, obviously much better picture much better night vision when you add a little bit more IR light you get an even better picture so if you go out and buy one of those IR illuminators or those IR bulbs or whatever those things are called and you put this in the backyard or outside you would be able to get even better night vision than you normally would definitely better than the V2 and even better than the V3 if you added more IR light or you could just do what I just did a second ago unbelievable and for 20 some dollars unbelievable oh look at that right up on the top of the fence right now is that a raccoon oh my god is that the rack is that the skunk what are the odds of getting this guy on the video is that the skunk that I've been trying to track what where did he just go boy am I glad I had this on is he down on the ground now I know how he's getting around. Before he was going underground, now he's crawling on the fence. So this was, I'm thrilled that I saw that because it did not set off the detection. The, the uh, But I'm going to be looking at the video. So what's my opinion of this camera? This thing is absolutely insane. You've got to have a really good connection with your um, router. You just saw him. You just saw that skunk crawling on, I think it was a skunk. You just saw him crawling on the fence, pitch black, and what a great camera. 100% think this is a great camera. If you're using this for security, oh, where did that come from? The network just went a little crazy. Okay, so at least you got to see that. I don't know if that's their network or my network. Um, again, we're going from uh, not the greatest internet connection through a router and... And there we are again. Just, just, I'm thrilled. Security-wise, if you want a cheap way to do it, this is the way to do it. Get a $20 camera. Yeah, that's amazing. If you are a major business and you're trying to catch crooks, probably not the way to go. But I will leave an affiliate link in the video description. I don't know if these are available yet on the Amazon. The, probably not. The V2 is. The V3 isn't. But still click on my, uh, do that thumbs up, subscribe, like, share, comment. Click on my affiliate links when you put an order in from Amazon. It will help me out. And thanks for watching. What's my opinion? The V3, absolutely amazing. Amazing. I just wanted to show you what the V2 looks like. That is the morning. We can see 840. It looks exactly like the V3 looked last night with the new night vision. Let's check out the V3. There it is again. V3 is down. Did not last 12 hours. So either the camera has a serious problem I can't believe it's connectivity issues because the V2 is right next to the V3. Two nights in a row, the V3 went down within the first time a couple hours, the next time 12 hours. So this camera definitely is going back. I've got another V3 that is connected indoors right now. I am going to test this out one more time. I'm going to put the V3 indoors and see if it holds a signal. But the camera is going back. You're probably going to run into serious connectivity issues with the V3 compared to the V2.